Hey everybody, Corbin Hostler here. Welcome back to Money Modern, and we have for us this week uh, another one in our series here with utilizing Eldritch Moon cards. Uh, and this week, that card is Splendid Reclamation. So what this does, it's a sorcerer for four mana. It's an effect I don't think we've seen before in Magic, and it's uh, return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. So let's think about what we want to put in our graveyard with lands in Modern. I hear a pretty good land is uh, Valak at the Moon Pinnacle. So, uh, you know, of course, we've seen this in Scape Shift decks and the the Primeval Titan just sort of turbo decks uh, where they just want to, you know, Valakut and Mountains. So that's what we want to do. Only we want them in our graveyard first. We want to bring them all back with Splendid Reclamation. Um, so this deck is, there's uh, a lot of lists going around. Everything operates off the basic theme of dredging uh, and uh, then, you know, Splendid Reclamationing. So um, I think a lot of people have been onto this and this list is sort of... Um, after a week of my own testing, where I've ended up, you know, from a starting point with some of those other places. So, uh, looking through the deck here, we look very similar to an actual dredge deck, uh, which, of course, just won uh, an event last week, so now it's on everyone's radar. Um, for a long-time followers of the series here, we actually recorded matches with that back in May, and it spurred me to, to build it myself in paper, so it feels kind of good to be ahead of the curve on that one. Um, but, so we're utilizing a lot of the same cards here, the Golgari Grave Trolls and the Stinkweed Imps and the Life from the Loams, um, because of Dredge. Instead of drawing a card, we can put cards into our graveyard. Uh, with Grave Troll at 6, Stinkweed Imp at 5, Life from the Loam at 3. Um, the rest of the things we sort of share is Faithless Looting, draw 2, discard 2. This is nuts with all of your Dredge cards in your deck. Uh, it also helps you, um get them into your graveyard in the first place, as does Insolent Neonate, which is sort of the best one because you get a discard it. It's a discard outlet and a draw effect all in one. It's great. Um, Lightning Axe is both another way to um, get a dredge card into our graveyard or a land into our graveyard because that's the thing we want to do, and that's why we have these Mimatic Insight. Um, so we sort of had an extra spot here. It could be a third life from the Loam, um, whatever. I just wanted another one mana draw effect um, and discard effect as well because you... And you'll see the Molten Vortex is here. You can discard a land card to do two damage or something, so you really control the board with it. So this deck sort of operates on two different axes, and I'll get to the rest of it here. We can either turbo a bunch of lands into our graveyard by dredging, and then just getting to four mana uh, with Life from the Loam bringing our lands back, or just hitting land drops, whatever our way of doing it is. You get to four mana, cast Splendid Reclamation, bring them all back, deal like a million damage with Valakut. Um, that's sort of the easy games, right? Where you just dredge, you go off... Uh, the harder games and sort of the things that also work, though, because this card is in our deck, in the right matchups, we get to keep Molten Vortex, and the creature decks that are Mana Dork decks just can't really beat a Molten Vortex and Life from the Loam loop. You just bring back three lands a turn, you pitch them all to your Molten Vortex, kill all of their creatures, and you don't have to dredge, and you'll eventually just play your... You've been usually dredging Life from the Loam, but you don't need to turbo dredge, uh, and you'll eventually just get a Splendid Reclamation and cast it. So uh, this is really, I think, the innovation that makes the deck work is Mystic Retrieval. Uh, weird blue card, sure. We have a we have one Steam Vents in our deck to cast it if we need to. Return Incident or Sorcery from a Graveyard to your hand. The big thing here, though, is it has flashback of two generic and a red. So even when we're dredging off and getting just filling our graveyard, well, this works from there. We can get back our Splendid Reclamation uh, with the Mystic Retrieval, even if we've done nothing but dredge. So you can, you know, if your turn one is instantly Neonate, pitch something. Turn two, land, just start dredging. Turn three, flashback Mystic Retrieval. Turn four, uh, cast a Splendid Reclamation, you just return, kill him. Um, it has a lot of different ways to play out. Tormenting Voice is another one, sort of works like Neonate, uh, rounding out our card draw effects where you can discard one of your dredgers and then... Um, go off with it. So that's the deck. After that, we just have a bunch of mountains. We play 27 lands. Um, we have the one Steam Vents for the Mystic Retrievals in our hands. We have the Blood Crypt uh, to cast the Stinkweed Imps, which is something that's... that's something, I've certainly won games by just casting 1-2 Death Touchers over and over. Um, it's surprisingly difficult for people to beat because it just comes back. Um, so that's the deck. Moving on to the sideboard, uh, we have just sort of... Uh, Things to, It's really difficult with this deck to know. I've went through a lot of different options here, and I've thought, well, do we sideboard into a scape shift deck? Do we just sideboard in Primeval Titans and try to turbo out all of our lands? Um, and I've looked at full 15-card transformational sideboards here where we're getting rid of our, you know, this is uh, 8, 10, 12... Uh, plus, you can get rid of a couple other things and have this full 15-card transformational sideboard. But what I found is that if we just go on the Valakut... Primetime plan, um, 
We don't actually have enough mana ramp in our deck. We have a lot of filtering and card draw, but we don't have enough ways to actually just ramp out to six mana um, to play our Primeval Titan. Um, and you can also go Emrakul, Primeval Titan, uh, through the Breach as a sideboard plan. And that's also okay, and I won't discourage you from doing it, but then you're... I mean, you may blank the one Graveyard Hate card they have, but you have very little to do. Again, you have to either get to six mana for Primeval Titan or five mana for Through the Breach, and you have no ramp spells in your deck. So, um, I don't... Like, none of that felt very good to me. Uh, and I went through a lot. Of, I was like, can we play aggro? You know, we have some one drops here. Like, can we... There's. I, I went through a whole bunch of different things. In the end, I didn't find anything I loved, so I said, let's actually play it Let's try to play it straight up. Because the other issue with that is if you devote 15 cards to the transformational sideboard, you don't get to play stuff you want, like Anger of the Gods or Not of the Bone. And all of a sudden, you just die to burn, whether you transformed your deck or not. They don't have a piece of graveyard hate, um, but you don't have any way to interact with it, and you just die. Uh, same with Tron. So that's why you see the crumble to dust. So instead, I have some cards here um, to try to just beat the hate. So... Because Dredge won last week, I think a lot of people are moving to Graft Digger's Cage as their um, their sideboard hate card, and I'll go ahead and show you the card here. Uh, Graft Digger's Cage is creatures can't enter the battlefield from graveyards or libraries. Players can't cast cards in graveyards and libraries. You'll notice what that does not stop is lands from entering from our graveyard. So um, we can dredge all we want, and while we don't have, we aren't able to flashback Mystic Retrieval uh, to get the Splendid Reclamation. I mean, that just means we have to tailor our game plan to actually try to draw this and again we have all these uh, filtering to get it and then we can just still go on the same plan and get it all back so um while this card is good against us it's beatable where it's something like rest in peace or even relic of progenitus you can try to beat through those you have the nature's claims and the ancient grudges um which are here both because they're good answers and they're out so this in particular is an answer to rest in peace uh which wrecks us um but i think and I could be wrong, but I think a lot of decks are going to be on Graft Digger's Cage. Uh, because it is the answer, it's the card that answers both Jeskai Nahiri and Dredge. So you only have so many sideboard spots, and I think people are going to be going with Cage, which means that we can play around that a little better, especially when we have um, these cards over here. So um, going through the rest of it, the Boseju is for control matchups. It's actually really great because you can just Dredge. Mill it into your graveyard. Return it from life from the loam. Next turn, they can't counter your spell into reclamation, no matter how many negates they have. Um, Devastating Summons is an interesting one, and I'm not sure it's correct or not, but I found that a couple times against control decks, uh, something like Jeskai, they, uh, they, they mess with you a lot, and you just end up making land drops to kill them, um, and you maybe have life from the loam going, but you, I actually ran out of land sort of in my graveyard and just had them all in play. Um, so combine that with the fact that they're also boarding out their creature removal, and I think this is kind of the fun, fine one of. Again, a lot of these one ofs we can get back with Mystic Retrieval, um, so they can become better. So I mean, sure. Plus, you can randomly have, you know, a couple big creatures that can be good, and um, this is fine. Like if you're at six lands against a control deck or something, you play this um, Sacrifice Two. Uh, with if you've set up some reclamation, yeah, they're sitting on counters. Are they going to counter the summons and then let you reclamation them to death? Um, or are they going to let this resolve and then just die to your, your tutus or whatever? Um, or, of course, you know, you can make them bigger. Uh, but anyway, so it's just a card I like. Uh, Autumn's Veil, again, this is another uh, sort of one we want to interact with the counter spell decks. Um, it's great if we counter it. That's fine. But it's it, just plain one works because we have the Mystic Retrievals to get them back. So again, it's like, are you going to counter the Mystic Retrieval? Are you going to counter a not Splendid Reclamation? Well, you kind of have to. Um, that's what we want to force them into. So then Knot of the Bones, great. Flash it back. Usually gets you like 8 to 10 life, which isn't insane. Um, but it's it's enough against burn. You know, it's the extra t two turns that you need a lot of times. Uh, Anger of the Gods will sweep all the creature decks, all the Noble Hierarch decks, Affinity, stuff like that. And of course, Affinity, we get the Ancient Grudges, Lantern, any of those things you might run across. Uh, then Crumble to Dust for Tron. So that's the deck. Uh, we're going to give it a shot here. I think it's I think it's solid. I've had some success with this in the games it goes off. You feel great. Um, it does feel like a lot of hate to fight through. Um, and sometimes the deck just doesn't work because, I mean, it's a linear combo deck in Modern. And that's how they work sometimes. But it is a very novel use and probably the best possible use of Splendid Reclamation. And I do think it is a, um, a legitimate Tier 2 deck. So let's go ahead and see how the matches go. 